So today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the vanilla iPhone 12 in 2024. Now this is an iPhone that I had as my personal phone back when it was released and I absolutely loved the phone, but I'm just gonna go through a few features of the iPhone 12 and see if it's worth buying in 2024. Now I do have a bit of a disclaimer that I will point out from the get-go, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna mention from the get-go, this iPhone 12 that I bought secondhand does have a replacement third-party display on it and you can tell by the pretty large chin at the bottom. So unfortunately, I can't speak for the quality of this display as such. I can only speak for the quality of the iPhone 12 when I originally had it when it first came out. And of course, back then it was top notch. It was one of the best displays out there. And of course, now there's gonna be better displays on the market. But as for this third party display, to be fair, it is pretty good. Color, vibrancy doesn't seem to be as strong as what it would have been on the original display. And the touch responsiveness isn't gonna be quite as what it is on that display either. But overall, I can't really complain. I paid 190 quid for this refresh refurbished iPhone 12 and I still think that is a great price for this phone and of course the rest of the design is very iPhone like of course very much like the iPhone 13 and 14 and to a certain degree the iPhone 15s although they have changed the rails a little bit on that as well so overall a really premium feeling device glass back still got the wireless charging capabilities on this phone so overall for the design of the phone you can't really complain at all now as for software on the iphone 12 luckily you are still fully up to date with the newest ios 17.3.1 so very much up to date on the iphone 12 and you are probably going to get at least another year maybe two years of software updates on this phone so even if you buy it now you're going to be absolutely set in terms of software and stuff like that and ios is iOS, it's very limited in terms of its customization. Obviously you can add folders and they now have the ability to add a few widgets onto your home screen. But other than that, it's pretty basic stuff. But for those that are using an iPhone, you know what to expect. You know what you're getting, you're very familiar with it and it is very easy to use. And for anybody that's first into using a smartphone, an iPhone is a great option because of how easy they are to use. And performance is still absolutely flawless. It has the Apple's A14 Bionic chip, which still outperforms a lot of budget phones released even today. It's an absolute powerhouse even in 2024. You're not gonna have any stutters or slowdowns or anything like that. Even with gaming and heavy multitasking, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Stutter free, you're not gonna have a problem there. And that is backed up, of course, just with a small four gigabytes of RAM. Now, of course, Apple's RAM management is very different to what you find on Androids. The equivalent Android flagship today has 8, 12, sometimes up to 16 gigs of RAM, whereas Apple are happy with just eight gigabytes on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So the RAM is very different on the iPhone 12, but it is still absolutely fine. You're not gonna be able to have quite as many apps open in the background as what you would on a phone with more RAM, of course, but to be honest, I don't have loads open in the background anyway, and this will be absolutely fine. And the battery life, unfortunately, this is one area where the iPhone 12 does fall behind quite considerably. It only has a 2800 milliamp hour battery with 100% battery capacity. And this model I have here has 85% capacity. So it's gonna be considerably lower than that original 2800 milliamp hours. And it does get me through a full day of light use. Now, I just wanna highlight the word light because if you don't use your phone that much, this will absolutely get you through a full day, no problem. But if you're a heavy user, you use the camera a lot, loads of games, multitasking or anything like that, this is definitely gonna need charging mid to late afternoon or in the evening, something like that, depending on your usage, the battery life isn't particularly great. So maybe if you're an older person, you're a retiree or something like that, that just wants a phone, so they've got a phone and don't use it that often, this will be absolutely fine and will get you through a full day, no problem. And then lastly, quickly talking about the camera on the iPhone 12, it is very basic stuff. You get two 12 megapixel cameras, a main and an ultra wide. Now, of course, when the phone first came out, the photos were absolutely great, top notch, one of the best cameras on the market. And to be honest today, the photos coming from the iPhone 12 are still absolutely great. I have no problems with it at all. Of course, being a 12 megapixel camera, it is just one of those non-pixel binning cameras. So in lower light situations, it does struggle gathering enough detail and gathering enough light onto that small sensor. But overall, in broad daylight, the photos are great. There's plenty of detail, natural color, great dynamic range. But as I'm starting to do in my newer videos, here is a few sample photos and video from the iPhone iPhone 12, let me know down in the comments what you think of these video and photo samples.
So that's my quick look at the iPhone 12 in 2024. And is the phone still worth it? To be honest, if you could find it at a cheap enough price, like I said, I paid 190 quid for this. Absolutely, this is still a really great phone. Of course, like I said, if you're a heavy user, if you use the camera loads, if you play lots of games, probably not. I'd probably try and go for an iPhone 13 or something like that, which will have considerably better battery life. But if you're just a light user and you just want an iOS phone that will work, that will have a good camera and great performance, the iPhone 12 is still a really great phone. Wouldn't bother with the iPhone SE, that is just a waste of time. It's far too old looking and the battery life is gonna be even worse on that than what it is on the 12. So yeah, iPhone 12, if you can pick one up for what I paid, absolutely. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the iPhone 12. Is it a phone that you'd consider buying? I would be interested to know what you think and if you use one now or an even older iPhone. And if you enjoy this video, a sub to the channel would be awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.